the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 41 of The Daily Mother Swole. Swole. That's right. I am here with Carlos. This is episode 41, and we're doing a transformation update. Now, the deal yo yo with this is last time you saw Carlos, he was pre cruise. He was about to go on his vacation, and we're talking about some of the challenges he was facing to go on the cruise and, you know, what he was going to uh, have to undergo in terms of, like, him just getting ramped up and just getting ready to, you know, kind of just getting into his fitness journey and then actually leaving right before he was on his flow. So what I want to do is briefly, for those that don't know Carlos, do a little intro, really brief. Um, We'll tell you where to find him at the end of the episode and um, break down what he does and you know some of those things. But what I want to do is jump right in. I want to update everyone on his situation, how the cruise was briefly, and just have him give you a little bit of a, a blurb, a little intro. How was it for you, big boy? Well, <laughs> hello everybody. My name is Carlos M. De Oro, and Mr. Swole Normus here, Dash, has been helping me out, right, as he's already discussed. And I did go on that cruise, and yes, there's a shitload of food there. <laughs> and it's pretty ridiculous. And as soon as I walked in day one, I realized this is a battle that's not meant to be won. It was like, this, this is bad. So I made a commitment as soon as I w- went on the ship that I have to work out every single day. Because the truth of the matter is, is that the food quality just isn't there even if i tried to make better decisions the food all around you is just shit think about it nobody really goes on a cruise to diet so um i had one night where i decided yeah i'm gonna treat myself and i'm gonna eat what i want because shit i was on vacation and i did it but uh the other days i tried to eat moderate you know there's at the end of the day, yeah, you could pick up watermelon, but there's only so many watermelon you can stuff in your face. It's just about the only fruit they had, that and bananas. Um, uh, and, you know, but chicken and everything else, horrible. I remember picking up some peanut butter, and it said uh, hy- the, the ingredients, the first ingredient the was hydrogenated oil. Hydro- right. Yeah, yeah. And there wasn't even peanuts in it. I was like, Jesus, how is this even peanut butter? Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and I was like, whatever, you know, like, what am I going to do? It's either this or starve, so... So I just went to the gym five out of the seven days, and one of those days you're spent boarding, so you can't really go on the, you know, to the gym or whatever. So I'm pretty good, and then I weighed myself before and after. Didn't lose much, uh, didn't uh, lose any uh, uh, progress. Mm -hmm. I stayed exactly where I had to be. And here I am a week out, and I'm back to my regular scheduled dieting with the food that I'm making, and I'm feeling good. Um, I'm, I ran into a bit of a wall because the, the, my, uh, my daughter started a different school since uh, it's summer now. She started a dance class, so now I can't go to the gym I usually go to, and I'm in a neighborhood that has no gyms. So Mr. Swole Normers here is going to teach me some uh, right, some, some, some exercises for, uh, you know, for me to do at home, and I'm looking forward to that because you got to get to it. Yeah. Now, in terms of the, the challenges that people are facing because a lot of you are probably in a similar situation because it is June so school's over and that's a big challenge for not just mothers but fathers because you have your routine you have your work schedule and if your children are not going to a summer camp which they should be just because if they can just because it keeps them on a schedule Absolutely. Uh, now if you are you have your child at home and your schedule doesn't you know, either financially or just time-wise doesn't uh, accommodate them being in a summer program, whether it's dance, whether it's, um, you know, football, whether it's just a day camp or anything. If you don't have a routine, you might be just not stuck, but you might just be with your child uh, at home a lot. So we're going to be doing a couple, we're going to do a workout today 
probably a, a leg workout. This is what the plan is so far. Mm -hmm. It's hot as all hell outside. And yes, it is. It's noon, so we'll probably be doing this around like 1, 1.30, so that should be interesting. And we'll do some filming for some content, maybe with Snap, but it's going to be something that'll probably be posted onto YouTube in the next couple of weeks. But these workout videos, these exercises, and some of these options uh, we could talk about, uh, some of these home workout programs, and some things that you can, you can do at home, even with your child, will be beneficial because not everyone is going to be able to make it to the gym. Uh, but a lot of gyms do have daycare. A lot of gyms have um, have that type of, let's say, uh, maybe for like you know only a couple extra dollars a month. For example, LA Fitness is like ten dollars a month for kids club, but it's only open for certain hours, so that still might not fit your schedule. So being, let's say, with your so with your, with your daughter in school. And the workout is the challenge. What is the challenge exactly about the exercise? Like, is it more that is it more that you don't have a local gym? You don't have access to a local gym. Is it that you don't know exactly what to do? Just going raw, you know, not not you know, just 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 from like your first impression. Like all of a sudden you realize, okay, my daughter's got to go to camp. I'm not going to be going to the same area. I'm not going to have access to the gym I already have a membership to. What was your initial uh, your initial take or your initial thoughts and process on what was going to be the challenge with that okay, so, specifically. So pretty much, and this is all pretty new, like um, I last Friday I, we decided to put her in a dance school which was closer to my house. Um, the problem is, is that in my neighborhood, it just, I, I've moved into this neighborhood maybe six months ago and there's not a lot around here. It's the reason we moved down here because it was away from more of the chaos. Um, uh, but... The problem with it is that it also comes with the fact that there's not many gyms. Now, I've always worked out at a gym. Like, that's just the only way I know how to work out is go to the gym, lose weights, get on the Stairmaster, sweat. You know, yeah, I know if I go up the stairs in my house three, you know, 30 times, I'm sure I'll probably get the same effect. But I've never been, I've never had to lose weight or exercise without having a gym accessible to me. Mm -hmm. So now moving over, I don't want to have to sign up to a different gym because the gym I'm signed up to isn't in my area. So, and really it's only two months because when, you know, when Leah starts school again in, 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 in August, mm -hmm. I'm going right back to my old gym because that's what I'm used to. That's what I like. That's right. where I'm comfortable, you know? Right. So now I'm just, just figuring out what am I going to do for these two months while I'm coming home because I'm not going to drive, you know, an extra 30 minutes another direction to get a workout when it, technically I could do it at my home, you know? And I'm not at any point in my fitness level where I can say, Oh, I need 70, 80 pound dumbbells to get my, no, I'm still working on core, you know, I'm still working on body movements, form, you know, things of that nature, cardio. And this is a, this is a, a common challenge for a lot of people. The equipment or the things that you need for a home workout can range everything from nothing where you don't need anything. Of course, there's going to be limitations with what you can do with absolutely nothing. You can lift objects. You can add, do manual resistance, stuff with a towel. There's certain things, but not everyone has a, you know, a railing. Not everyone has a tree outside. Not everyone has the same type of uh, situation. You can live in a city where you don't have anything around you, mm -hmm. you know, unless you walk outside and you're in a road. Or, you know, you're... Ever, in other words, you, you might not have the same layout. You might not have two floors you might not have mm -hmm. you know places to latch things onto but you can have options so there's options for bands you can use uh resistance bands tubing you can get a light pair of dumbbells if you were to go let's say you were planning on doing a workout at home regularly you know and you had some money to invest in a home gym you know there are options like those uh Bowflex style dumbbells that are adjustable right, where they can right. go up to like 50 or 60 pounds. I've seen those. Those look and, great. Expensive yeah. too, but yeah. They're, 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 yeah, but when you think about it, and they are expensive and there's an investment, but the good thing about some of those programs is that you can make payments um, for mm -hmm. the dumbbells, but they go up to like from like seven and a half pounds all the way up to like 60 pounds. You just kind of pull out a pin or dial it, whatever the heck right. they do now. But they're expensive at the same time, if you bought a pair of every single one of those dumbbells, it would be two or three oh, times oh, as abs much. Absolutely. So the, it's, <laughs> it's expensive, it's an investment, but that also depends on whether or not you are going to be working out primarily at home or this is just something in, in line for two months. So one thing, a uh, good suggestion that I have, aside from those of you that might not have access to someone like myself where you can have um, you know, online coaching or online training or you know, some one-on-one -on -one, um, you know, feedback, 
you can also do things where you do a you know let's say a group program or an online course such as you know you could do one of those beach body programs like a p90x and some of you might already know that i'm a master instructor for p90x and they have all this stuff online uh, on their on demand <laughs> service and i'm not you know I'm, I'm not getting you know paid to advertise <laughs> any of this but for example the the programs are all streaming so you can actually get p90x p90x2 p90x3 all these like resistance based programs for one price a month and you can stream them to your computer so my suggestion was why reinvent the wheel specifically um, of course there's going to be programming where i can help him with deciding which things to do but you can have the program actually delivered you know right to your computer right to your tv and you can get onto an un, you know a program where it's progressive the resistance is progressive it will walk you through you know sometimes you don't have to reinvent the wheel it depends on what the application is sometimes it doesn't have to be directly customized it could be something that you implement in addition to things that you can do on your own maybe you you make it to the gym once or twice a week. Maybe you just can't go every day. It depends on your schedule. But there are programs out there that can be a regular basis. There are things that you can do for at home specifically. Mm -hmm. um, now, do you have half an hour or an hour today? Oh a, yeah, a, a the day? time is the time is there. I, I, I can the set the yeah. I, I yeah, could make sure I I could definitely set the time apart. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about the time. It's really just about what to do because mm. you know in the gym i know i got chest day you know i got arms i got legs i got but now when i get here i have i don't have i don't even have a smith machine right you know like what what, what do i do i, I could do planks and push-ups there's only so many planks and push-ups i could do you know like, true <laughs> and that's really all i know but then again my knowledge is limited in, in in that i mean that's why we have people like you right yeah damn straight damn right and of course you know your beard's coming in nicely so <laughs> as that grows and as that develops you're obviously going to see you know your your testosterone is going to go through the roof oh. your fat will start melting off your body like an ice cream cone in the summer and you know it, it's you know it's all about the beard it, it's all about the beard to, to be honest so those of you ladies and men alike i know we talked about your we talked about your beard earlier i, I know you need to work on but yeah. ladies i mean Beards, beards are in, so you know. Yeah, grow a beard. It'll, it'll help you it'll help you build. So, <laughs> the 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 great thing about these home workout programs, or the great thing about these options, and you know, didn't we didn't even plan for this to go towards home workout programs, but it almost seems like this is an appropriate theme for today, considering that this is my own personal recommendation. These at home workout programs are beneficial because they are they're timed out. They're progressive. They're going to build over time. They're going to challenge you. And it's a great entrance level to fitness. Some of you might be concerned about going to the gym and embarrassing yourself. You might be concerned about going to the gym and just, just not knowing what to do and potentially hurting yourself, which is just as bad as embarrassing yourself. It's worse because embar no one yeah, really embarrassing, cares. Embarrassing, who gives a shit? Yeah, no, 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 one, really, no one cares <laughs> yeah, about you. Nobody cares about that. I mean, really, no one cares about you. No one cares about your problems. Everyone's thinking about themselves. And, yeah, of course, people can be generally sympathetic and, you know, they'll, they'll say a lot of things. But in real reality, when you go to a gym, most people are thinking about what others think about them. Mm -hmm. They're not worried and concerned personally about you. So all eyes are not necessarily on you. But just the, the risk of getting hurt is a challenge. The risk of getting hurt is... You know, you, sometimes you can't go back from that. You can't undo a traumatic injury. Sometimes these things can plague for years and years and possibly the rest of your life. So the risk of getting injured and not knowing what to do is a lot greater than that risk of embarrassment. So being at home and having someone uh, guide you on a video, having, for example, my clients when I do my online coaching, walk them through, I watch videos, I watch pictures, and I analyze form, you know, obviously from a distance just because online coaching, there are certain limitations. But that guidance, finding that guidance and finding that consistency and that accountability is super important. So when you go to a gym, even though you might be going by yourself, uh, Carlos, and you know other people in, in particular, you see the same people every day. There's, a, there's like in behind your head like a little voice saying, as if like people are gonna know when you're not there. Like you show up every day, and I, and I get the same thing as when I go to the gym. You kind of you have this like 
it's like you're a gym family that you don't talk to. It's like people that you know, and you see the same person on the treadmill. You see the same person. You kind of know, like, oh, they wore the same thing yesterday. Oh, they got a new pair of shoes. You kind of notice things that change in the gym if you're there every day. You know, it's the same people. You know, it's the mm-hmm. same routines. So it's almost like when you don't go for a while and you go back, people will notice, like, oh, I haven't seen so-and-so in a while. Because usually when people go to the gym, they go at 2 o'clock every day. They go at 11 o'clock right. every day because they go based on their schedule. And I made a couple, like, you know, friends at, at the gym at one point, and I didn't go for a while. I got a message on Facebook, on my Facebook page, Swole Normous, and this, they were like, uh, hey, man, I haven't seen you around the gym in a while. You're going to be here anytime soon. You know, we're just talking about you, following your stuff. And it's funny because, you know, we weren't, like, the closest of friends, but we were, you know, acquaintances, and we would, you know, chat every time and kind of, mm-hmm. like, you know, shoot the shit every time, you know, we were running into each other at the gym. But people notice. People notice absences, and they notice, like, when patterns change. So there's that little kind of underlying accountability. So when you're out of that environment, when you're out of that and all of a sudden you're at home and you don't have that accountability to anyone but yourself, that's why the online coaching, uh, what I do is effective. That's why these workout videos are effective. These things can be effective because they give you accountability to someone else or to a program or to a plan or to day one. Oh, tomorrow's day two. I can't miss day two. I can't go to day three without day two. And you kind of stick to your schedule of watching and doing a workout every day of, you know, talking to your trainer or contacting your coach uh, like myself every day or on a weekly basis or for your check-ins or sending in your pictures or your body weight or your nutrition plan Mm -hmm. and staying up to date. And that's what Carlos and I are doing here. This isn't so much online coaching as it is kind of like, you know, check-ins and it is, you know, we keep in touch, you know, on social media and texting and, and phone conversations and Snapchat and... It helps you know, that we go back to. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and we're always, you know, we, we have a history, but so the personality and the understanding and the background, you know, I'm aware of and he's aware of and, you know, the trust is there which is important, but that also goes with accountability. You know, if you have trust and you have accountability, you have a reason to perform X, Y, and Z. It's it's like someone looking over your shoulder. It's doing something for a result for yourself, but you're also not letting someone else down, which in turn is not letting yourself down, which is really important. So you have this kind of cyclical, um, cyclical responsibility to not just yourself, but to someone else, which is kind of indirectly back towards yourself again. (laughs) So you're kind of creating this glue within your own little ecosystem to set your goals, stick to it day in and day out, and just to to be consistent. Maybe there's something you'd like to add um, Um, to the accountability factor, like in terms of how you think, in terms of like how our relationship, you know, in terms of what we started, you know, with your weight loss, let's just go back to that and then you can build from that the accountability or doing the periscopes because obviously it's not just me here it's not just the daily swole this is you coming on here how has this and this is similar this is the accountability you know doing a daily show is accountability for myself personally I know I have people that value my content that expect a video every day that expect a live broadcast every day Um, even for whatever reason if there's a an emergency and I can't do it at 12 or change in schedule, you're still going to get a live show at some point Mm -hmm. that day and you're going to get it broadcast on YouTube and a podcast. You have expectations from me that I provide and I do that to myself for a reason because then I'm accountable and I'm consistent. So how has, let's just start there, how has this show, uh, The Daily Swole, and how has this um, transformation, you know, exposure on Periscope, on Busker, on YouTube, on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Stitcher now, how has this exposure to millions of people that you don't know creeping yeah. in your lifestyle how has that affected your your progress how has that affected your mindset well let's go back to a little story actually it's, that, that it'll, it'll sum it up perfectly take me you. back Poppy okay so um, uh, obviously I have on Snapchat I have a lot of family and friends that follow all the time mm-hmm. and they hear me drop this guy's name all the time because obviously he's keeping me on check and you guys are too I have a couple of you guys that come on often and push me even chat me and all that so in that aspect alone it's like fantastic because you kind of have like your own little you know go army go you know type of deal Mm -hmm. um um, funny thing is that this show has actually helped my family make me more accountable for example i go to a party which was remember that that one time we had that 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 party where i I invited you over and everything and it was this whole thing on snapchat oh on snap right everybody he started he started telling uh, all his followers to tell me to stop eating shit (laughs) so they all start messaging me and 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 like hey what are you doing stop slacking it was great it was a great moment but 
at that very party where I'm drinking, like somebody would see me grab a, you know, a, some chips or something, you know, or, or like like a, like a tortilla chip, I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna go to so enormous, I'm gonna go to so and it was like this whole thing, and then it's like, <laughs> so right away, it's funny how it all worked out because even the people that barely even knew, but oh, since they God. watched me on Snapchat, they they knew already. Oh, this guy's on a diet, and I we know who to tell to get his ass into some shit, right? So it's it's. it's <laughs> In that in that aspect alone, it's it's pretty funny. Even my wife jokes around when I tell her. Yeah, even, when I, even my wife when I tell her, "Oh, baby, let's order a pizza." You know, joking around like, "Oh, let's just order a pizza. Forget the diet or whatever." Like, She'll be like, She'll be like "She's like, I'm gonna tell Dash." Like, yeah. <laughs> so right away, it's like, "All right, all right." Like, and the fact that I gotta show my face every couple weeks, every week, you know, makes to, a difference for sure. Shows a difference because. Not only that, I actually have recordings. I looked at the other recording. You can see my face is a little more swollen. I've lost, I'd say anywhere from 15 to 20. I don't know the exact numbers because I didn't weigh myself when I started. But I know it's in that range. And you can see it in my face and shit. And if it wouldn't have shown and I just kept on staying like, you know, plump, it's kind of more embarrassing. And you got to show your face like, yeah, I'm still the fatas, even though I'm here doing this. Plump will still skin. Plump will still skin, right? Mm. So um, the show has been great. In my success I know that Because it keeps me On my toes You know Every now and then When I want to slack That I'm weak Then I remember It's like shit But I gotta show my face mm -hmm. So I gotta get to it Like even this whole Not going to the gym For about a week Because I'm trying to figure out Where the hell I am Type of deal I feel bad about it Because it's like I haven't progressed In a week And then I know it I haven't progressed Because I haven't gone to the gym and, and, and it's all in the head Type of deal But I know it's something I have to figure out Because I have to continue Showing my face You know well, I'll tell you what In these two months We're going to change you From Mark Smallberg To Forrest Pump <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you, Carlos. Okay. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Okay, so. Forest, Forest Pump. Forest Pump. Damn, dude, you got one for all of them, huh? <laughs> um, uh, so, the show's been great, and, and it's and it's been, I mean, the support from you guys has, has been pretty great, too. Now, I wanted to ask you about the Beachbody things, because you were talking about that there's a program. So, mm -hmm. obviously, it's their videos, so you can play them whenever you really want. Yeah. Um, uh, but. It's set up like to gradually step up as you go. I mean, I'm sure it depends on the program, but right. for so, example, Beachbody. It's so they're yeah, they're on demand. It's just like their online streaming service. So instead of the way it used to be, and some of you probably remember. I mean, they, I'm sure they, they still make. I know they still make the infomercials. I'm just not. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. But they used to be. Oh, you know, for three easy payments of twenty nine ninety nine. You know, the DVDs were like a hundred bucks or one twenty, whatever the heck P ninety X was. Right now, because you know Beachbody makes. You might not. I shouldn't say you assume that you know, but they make insanity. You know, insanity. There's P ninety X. There's um, Body Beast. There's all these different programs that Beachbody has. You might not even be aware that they're under their umbrella, but they make all of them. The company's massive. Uh, now, instead of buying a DVD, which I'm sure you still can, they offer an online streaming. So just like Netflix, you can pay bleh, a month and just stream. Hmm, I want to watch P90X3 DVD, you know, second DVD for and it tells Monday. You the, it tells you the degree of difficulty of the Well, video? the same program. So it's the same program. It's just on streaming. So if you need to watch DVD 2... You click it. Got it. So it's just instead of having, you know, it's all digital now. Instead of watching, it's like Netflix. Instead of having a thousand, remember everyone, when you used to go over to someone's house, it was like a status symbol. You have those like DVD <laughs> so racks. Look like, at all oh the videos God, I have. Look yeah. at my 500 DVDs. Now you'd walk in and be like, dude, where are those DVDs are in the corner? Oh my God, it's remember like, these things? It's like, dude, you're, you're so much storage. <laughs> I know. It's like, why don't you sell those? Like, yeah. I look at those things now, I find DVDs, I think, oh my God, I paid 20 bucks for this thing. Know, right? And it makes you nauseous. Like, oh my God, this thing, you can't even. Well, see. Hold on, but what's worse? Because now you pay twenty bucks for the movie, you don't even get anything physical. That's true. Yeah, that's right. true. But now you can. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So, so, but so it, it's funny because I went on eBay to sell some of my DVDs. You know, DVDs that you spend money for, and I like went on for sell to like three ninety nine, and like <laughs> no one, like one person looked at it. It was like one person looked. I was like, no, fuck this. <laughs> I didn't buy this shit. I just wanted to see if the link worked. It's like. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to make sure this guy was really trying to sell Total Recall yeah. on DVD. On DVD. Not even widescreen. I don't even think I have a DVD player. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, whatever. I know. It's one of those things. So, uh, you know, times have changed, but this online streaming service can be great for those of you that want to have access to different things. You can mix up different programs. You don't have to buy every program for and spend like $1,000 and get 10 DVDs. You can get them all streaming. You can watch on your iPad, you know, all these different things. So you can watch them traveling, so it's great. 
Um, not sure why I got like four poop emojis Thank on you. Periscope, but yep, Dukey, Dukes. We all do it, bro. So you might want to check that out, Beach Bite On Demand. I'm sure you can find that beachbody.com. I don't have the website. I wasn't planning to plug it, but it's a it's a good option for those of you. I mean, this is just a I'm temporary thing. I always recommend weight training in a gym. I always recommend that just because of the overload, because of the variety of equipment and things you can do. But if you are in a situation like Carlos and he wants to be Carlitos, we need to you know, find the best option. Now, what's the best option? To write a program and have to show him every single exercise. I'm going to show him modifications of how to manipulate the programs or modify certain exercises that he might, be able to, might not be able to do or doesn't have the equipment for. But you have programs that are out there that can deliver great workouts that will get him results, especially for the time without him having to spend another gym membership, another initiation fee for two months mm -hmm. when his schedule is going to go back to the way it was in two months. Mm -hmm. So let's just get him going, keep him moving, focus on the nutrition, which we all know is going to be the major part anyway. As long as he's moving and, and working hard and doing something active with the nutrition is going to be the key player. doesn't matter if he's working out wonderfully. If he's eating McDonald's three times a day, he's yeah. going to be... You know, taking four steps back while he's taking two forward. So let's get him on a program, get him consistent, get him on a regular schedule, whether I'm there or not, and I'll keep him accountable. We all keep him accountable, and then we move forward. So what I want to do, um, let him just in closing, tell everyone where you can, they can find you, tell them your information, so that way when they're looking on YouTube, and I'll put the links in the description, uh, what you're about, what just where they can find you. Give them your deets. All right, give homies, guys. the deets. So again, my name is Carlos M. De Oro. Now, I keep mentioning that because that's pretty much my handle for all my social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope. You can find me using my name, at Carlos M. De Oro. The last name is spelled D-E-O-R-O. -O. Now, I just started a YouTube channel recently, um, uh, and it's pretty much all about cars and the automotive industry. I get into depth on do-it-yourselves, new cars, I talk about, you know, give you tips on how to buy cars, use cars, mm -hmm. etc. Um, it's a great channel. I'm working on it hard and I'm trying to put at least one video out every single day. And that's really my emphasis to put one out every single day. As you can see by all the certifications and shit in the back, I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know what the hell I'm doing. This guy is the man for fitness. I am the man for cars. It's just what we do. And it's a matter of fact how we met teaching that to others so um here we are years later doing a, a live show together and uh still teaching you know uh, so you guys need to come check me out it's called educated grease monkey on youtube uh subscribe and join the show man you know come and I, in and yeah. interact That's get it, it. and get I'm, it. I'm gonna post that all of the information um all his contact and links and social media stuff in the comments or not in the comments in the description below the video and as always, this will be shown. Obviously, those of you that are following me live on Periscope, catch this live. We will open up. I'll stay behind for a couple minutes on Periscope if anyone has any specific questions. One of the benefits of the live broadcast, Periscope, Busker. You can catch the podcast. You can catch a podcast on uh, SoundCloud, iTunes, and now Stitcher. Uh, pick me up. So. Stitcher is another service where some of you use it. I've talked to some of you and you're asking me if I was on Stitcher and I thought about it, so now I'm on it. So you can check out my RSS feed on Stitcher as well, Daily Swole. Thank you so much for joining myself, Swole Normus, Carlos M. De Oro, the educated grease monkey, on Ooh. episode 41 of The Daily Mother swole making some sick gains and taking some motherfucking names i will see everyone tomorrow at 12 noon eastern time for episode 42 of the daily amada swole peace out have a good one Deuce. get huge <laughs>